Hey guys, Sen here. When Graveyard was first announced, I thought it was going to be a niche skill testing spell that you really needed to break down a base to make useful. <laughs> and oh boy, was I wrong. But I had a couple hits during this raid weekend that really made me think, wow, this spell had so much potential, starting off with this Capital Peak 2 shot, which was so sick. Alright, so against this Capital Peak, we are dropping a Rage Spell to cover all of these defenses over here, and then a Ram to pull any Zap Traps, a Rocket Balloon down south to finish off these two Spear Throwers that I can't cover with my Rage Spell, then a Ram to go ahead, open up the wall, pull two Log Traps, and a Giant Bomb. So this is a super trap base, and so there's so many traps in these open channels like so, and we're trying to push through with archers because I see that there are so many air defenses, rapid rockets, inferno towers, rocket artilleries, a bunch of value for an air finish. And so we're trying to take this all out on the first go as well as push out of this trap section of the base. That one ramp opens up the wall and pulls five giant bombs. Those archers go ahead, pull another lug trap. This this defender needs to chill out another two giant bombs at this point. We're just gonna two times through here. I'm being a lot more careful on my archers, dropping them in one by one so they don't all get blown up by all these traps down here. But man, I can't get a break with all of these giant bombs. We're, we're gonna two times through all these archers at this point. There's one more giant bomb. And at this point, we're free to drop in two packs of archers, take as much defenses as we can out, and then drop in rams to tank for them. You want to be using your rams to tank for your archers as they leave stealth, because those rams have a lot of HP even after the nerf, so they'll reach their wall if they're under rage spell, and they can also provide a little bit of tanking on their way out. Like so, those archers got so many defenses because I tanked for them as well as this last pack of archers with that tanking ram. They're all they're going to grab that rapid rocket multi cannon as well as that trash building for me. And at this point, we have pushed outside of this opening maze and we have reached this backside over here with an exposed blast bow and capital peak. We're going to drop in one more pack of archers under the rage spell to finish off this multi cannon as well as try to grab this clan house because I want a ramp to target this wall over here instead of these bottom walls over here. I even commit that zap spell because the archer doesn't finish it off to finish that uh, building off and then we're starting in with a ram. It pulls a zap trap and then some hogs fanned out to stun that blast bow as well as they don't all clump up for that capital peak beam. I make a huge mistake here in that I dropped that Inferno Dragon for this clan house that was meant to be a Barbarian but I hovered the wrong thing because I was playing on a phone and it gets shot down by the Rapid Rocket. I originally wanted to save that Inferno Dragon to melt through all the HP of that capital peak but it's fine. We have a bunch of hog gliders left in the bag and every three seconds we'll just drop down another one to continuously stun that capital peak and build up on hogs on top of it. But you can see I'm dropping all my hogs on the right side because I want them all to converge towards one side of the base, namely all of these defenses over here. And then on the other side we have some rocket balloons and we have some graveyard spells for the back side of the base. So. Before the update, you didn't have a great way to take out these compartments with Teslas and Giant Cannons, but now with the Graveyard Spells, we'll drop in one Rocket Balloon on the Rapid Rocket, two Rocket Balloons on the Air Bombs, finish that all off, and we're going to get a bunch of Air Skeletons that are going to swarm this Mega Hint Tesla, fly over top of this Cannon, this Giant Cannon, as well as these Giant Posts. And so my loons can now sneak in on top of the slow firing Mega Hint Teslas, take it all out, and there will be no threats left. To my air troops on the base and we still have a bunch of air larrys and a bunch of ground larrys are spawning as my troops are killing those raid carts and those defensive giants but this was such a cool finish to this base using those hogs to perpetually stun that capital peak and those rocket balloons to strategically remove all those remaining defenses as well as give me air larrys to finish off the teslas notice how i held on to those graveyards to make sure that i got as many air larrys as i could because those giant cannons actually finish off your ground larrys and one shot even through the shields and so those air larrys even though they're not as strong because they can only get targeted by that slow firing mega hin tesla they're able to grab all of those defenses on the back side of the base <laughs> but man this spell has so much potential i hope they don't nerf it completely to the ground but yes it is a little out of control in that dumb spam attack Next up, we have the Balloon Lagoon, and the first thing I noticed during the scout was this left corner over here has a bunch of ground tarring defenses surrounding this rocket artillery, and to where if I'm able to clear all of these air tarring defenses in the second ring, I can drop in one graveyard spell on top of this rocket artillery, and then have one air troop die, and those 
Larrys that are going to get generated can take out this entire section of ground targeting defenses for me. And then on the other side of the base, there's one rocket artillery inside this peninsula that's guarded by a bunch of these spear throwers and inferno towers. They target both air and ground, but... The ground larrys have those shields, they have the more HP, and they're going to be able to swarm this rocket artillery if I can just drop that graveyard in the dead zone and have some ground troops die. Also, I have to take care of this rocket artillery that is sort of clipping the range of this one over here. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to try to push in from the top section over here. And the way we push in through the top section is first... These cannons on the outside are easy pickings for my Larry barrels because they're not covered by any splash. So I have a bunch of barrels as well as some rams to test for any traps. I also drop that rage perfectly to clip this crusher as well as this spear thrower as well as this backside crusher and backside rock artillery to where when I drop in a P.E.K.K.A. because there's not that much ground targeting single target defenses over here with the spear throwers and the rocket artillery that pekka can go in under the rage sneak in one shot all the buildings and move super fast to clear this compartment for me so now we're dropping in larry barrels after a ram to test for some traps at an angle it actually pulls up some teslas and those larrys are so good at slapping down those teslas that fire super slowly but do so much damage so great value off the barrels so far we're not running into any traps either but once I drop in that third Larry Barrel up top, we drop in a Barbarian to clear some trash and tank the cannon so we can sneak in another ram. And this ram finally pulls a small bomb and a giant bomb. And so my Larrys are safe to go forward and clear the rest of this top section. Then I will drop in a ram to go ahead, tank for the P.E.K.K.A. And then the P.E.K.K.A. is going to go in because these walls are actually not closed over here. One shot that Crusher, one shot the Spear Thrower, dodge that rocket artillery shell and go in and one shot a bunch more buildings those larrys are still alive and now beating through the wall that rocket artillery looks at them but that crusher quickly finishes off that rocket artillery for those larrys to go in towards the district hall i drop in the graveyards before the pekka dies and then two wizards on top of the district hall i originally planned to do a wizard bomb on the district hall i didn't anticipate all those larrys to survive so it still works out anyways with the larrys slapping down the spear thrower on the backside. And now once that P.E.K.K.A. goes down and those graveyards are generating some skeletons, I drop in some archers in behind, pick off the bomb tower and some more defenses to generate some more skeletons and overwhelm this backside compartment even more. I waited on those backside uh, graveyard spells because I wanted to wait for when the P.E.K.K.A. was about to die. I didn't want those graveyards spawning any skeletons beforehand because those would have just gone to waste and easily been picked off. You need to wait for when you can get a huge mass of Larrys going at once if you want to overwhelm a section of the base like that. We're dropping in a couple more Larry barrels to go up the left side over here, finish off these defenses so we can have a clear approach towards these backside spear throwers and inferno tower. This air bombs is low, so I'm going to drop in one barb to tank that rocket artillery shell at an angle, and then one more Larry barrel to go in and take out that air bombs for me. And you can see we have taken out a huge chunk of this base on the first attack of full 69% on this first hit. And we are going to speed up through the second hit where we're going to finish off this base, like I said, with a rage spell for rocket balloons to sneak in to grab all these defenses. And then one Larry barrel to tank the rocket artillery for those three rocket balloons to sneak in. And then that graveyard spell in the dead zone of that rocket artillery, like so. And those balloons under rage are going to melt through that inferno tower. And those graveyards from the last attack are also spawning some more Larrys for me. One barb to clear these trash buildings so I can directly target this backside rapid rocket. And from there, look down at that army and look what we have there. We have a mountain golem to swag as well as a camp of minions. This hit was so sick and really utilized the power of both the air larrys as well as the ground larrys on the right side of the base this is how i thought the graveyard spell was going to be used on release to strategically take out certain portions of the base but man was i wrong it turned out to be such a degenerate spam spell like we're gonna see in the next hit so the graveyard has a lot of cool uses, but man, this has been what it's become. We're going to drop in two wizards down south on this capital peak and then a giant in behind to tank for this wizard tower as those wizards collapse in this corner of the base. And then we're going to start in with our rams to go ahead, test for any traps. There's a bunch of traps, and so I decide to drop in another layer of rams before starting in on my wizards. Then I drop in my graveyard spells, one on the blast bow, one on this rock artillery, and then one on this rock artillery and mortar combined over here 
and so they're gonna push their way in with the help of the wizards and we're just gonna drop in our rams one after the other to make sure we have some rams constantly going ahead providing some distraction for our wizards and before the update this would have been a super solid base but now a blast build like that on the backside that's not being protected by a lot of defenses is just going to get absolutely killed. All my wizards are dead at this point, but we finished off that backside blast bow and rock artillery. And man, <laughs> you would think that, I mean, we've only gotten 44% and most of that is trash buildings, but graveyard is just a different breed of attack, man. <laughs> You're gonna see how we're gonna be able to take this base out in two attacks because there's a capital peak we want to make sure that we distract it so it doesn't shoot at our wizards with a P.E.K.K.A or a giant. We bring a P.E.K.K.A in this case, as well as a rage spell to push through all that HP. Notice how that rage spell perfectly clips that opening in the wall where my P.E.K.K.A will walk in. So we're going to drop in those last two graveyard spells after the rage spell, one on the mortar and one on the giant cannon. And at that point, it's just time to spam in our P.E.K.K.A to go in after this capital peak, some wizards in behind. We even save a wizard for down south to work on the outside of the base. Make sure our wizards don't clump up too much because the capital peak will still target on top of your wizards if they do. And so we just have troops moving everywhere in the base. Once that capital goes down, those rage troops go ahead, slap down that giant cannon so fast. We have a Larry Barrel for the backside Inferno Tower and we have so many troops left <laughs> moving on through. There's just one crusher left in terms of splash defenses on the base. And that is just not going to be enough. We have a P.E.K.K.A alive, Larry's alive with shields mostly, some air Larry's even. I don't know where we got that from. Probably the Larry Barrel as well as some wizards swarming on through for that last raid cart barracks. And we don't even take out that raid cart. The disrespect, we take out his barracks and this base is done. One more Capital Peak 2 shot because I am not landing just one, not just two, but three Capital Peak 2 shots in this raid weekend and I haven't even played that many of my accounts. Before, if you even landed one of these in a raid weekend, it would have been an extremely memorable one, but at this point, with Graveyard out, it's not even impressive anymore. I start off with the P.E.K.K.A down south, clear a bunch of trash buildings, take out the Tesla, and then take out those giants with the help of that archer. I want to push up through the left side of the base, open up these two walls, and then try to flank the Capital Peak from the top left section over here, and try to rage through this shallow entry over here and chain down the rock artilleries and blast bow with my super wizards from that angle. But unfortunately, my rams aren't gonna go inside for me, so I drop in a pack of minions, clear the cannon and the bomb tower as a ram goes ahead, tests as well as uh, tanks the spear thrower, but my rams are still not going in. But my minions are gonna finish off that bomb tower and then afterwards, I will put this at times two because we know what's about to happen. I'll drop in one more ram to test. It's not going where I want to and I say screw it. I completely change my plan on the fly, drop a rage spell down shallow on the entry because I know I can't reach that capital peak on this hit anymore. So I rage into that giant cannon, take it out, and graveyard spells on top of the multi-mortars. When multi-mortars are not in range of wizard towers, giant cannons, bomb towers, splash defenses, those are great candidates for your graveyard spells as well because their multi-shot volley will wreck your larrys because they'll shoot like four shots at once or something, and that'll kill them even through the shields. Now I bring another rage spell because the first one doesn't cover up to the capital peak, drop in a couple of rams and a P.E.K.K.A in to assassinate all these defenses and tank that capital for me with graveyard spells, one on the Inferno Tower, some on those uh, backside point defenses, and at this point, we're just going to drop in a couple of wizards. They'll take out that uh, giant cannon, take out that crusher. We have a rocket balloon in for this Tesla after the crusher goes down, and so we'll target that down, take it out, and then go ahead Head, take out the cannon, take out the bomb tower afterwards because there's no air defenses and at this point we have absolutely blasted through the base. That was a nice touch with the rocket balloons but you really don't even have to do any of that, any of that fancy stuff. This attack will rip through bases as long as you can tank for your wizards either with giants or pekkas. Make sure that that capital never shoots at them and you will demolish bases with this strategy. And before I go, Happy New Year to everyone. I know I'm on the East Coast of America, and so we haven't gotten into 2023 yet, but I know I have a lot of international viewers, and some of you guys are already in the next year. So I'm still stuck in the past, but I hope you all had an amazing 2022 and are going to have an even better 23. But like and subscribe if you enjoyed today's video, and take care.